packed and ready. Just going off to catch my first flight to Kuala Lumpur. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. Here we go. I don't even I'm excited yet. I do know these bags are pretty heavy. Let's go and see if I can check in. So I got off the plane this morning after a 12 and a half hour flight and managed to get my way to Petronas Towers after several problems. I had no SIM card and some lovely guy from the airport bought me a SIM card. I think it cost about four quid and he took pity on me, bought me a SIM card, took the first train. Um, I thought I'd got a return ticket for the whole way, then found out that actually the monorail wasn't included and you only pay cash with that. I had no cash, couldn't get my car to work. It's been a nightmare, but I've got here. And I've managed to come to the top and the view's great. I'm so tired, but well, I wasn't expecting this. We're now on floor 86. It's like, Wow. The views are brilliant. I wish it was a little bit clearer, but it's spectacular. I'm not sure if you can see, but on that other turn, right at the top, there's some men working. I do need some kind of context. Hey guys, on top of the sky tower here with Sonia in Auckland, New Zealand. She's pretty working today. She's about to jump off the tower. 192 meter jump today. How are we doing? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna jump. Okay, let's go. Run, face the ball. I've seen words. Don't worry, you're good. Why not? Reach across. Hold on to the red one. That's it. Both your feet right up to the edge. Now, just wait for my countdown, okay, Sonia? When I say go, both ends off. Big jump out, all right? Here comes Sonia. Three, two, one, go! Woo!
Come on, Tori, come! That's the attitude. <laughs> I got you, I got you. <laughs> Alrighty, one minute. Awesome, Sunny, how'd you enjoy it? My legs are shaking. Are you glad that you did it though? It was beautiful. You went off first hop. Fantastic. High five, Sonia. Fantastic work. Alright guys, come on out. Just watching that gate right there. So welcome to the Skywalk, how are we feeling up here? All good? Yeah. All right guys, so right now we're 192 meters above Auckland City. Should we take a little look around, taking the view a little bit? Take a look down if we're feeling brave. All right guys, so while we're up here, we're gonna be doing some challenges and they're all compulsory. All right, okay. so we'll get started with the first one here guys. First one, we'll just get the arms out either side, letting go of that cord out front and then just shake it all off. All right, perfect guys, too easy. We'll move on to the next one here. So follow along guys, we'll get the toes out over the edge, just like that. Awesome, Luis is there, there we go. And we'll get the arms out over the edge. Have a look down and give Auckland a big wave. Hello. Nice, right, so guys, come on back inside. Alright guys, so of course, that's the easy side, right? We're going to try the other side now. So toes out just like before. That's it. And then arms out. Have a look down and give Auckland a wave again. And then wave over this way as well, hello! Alright, come on back inside guys. So everyone saw what I was just doing? Yeah. That's our next challenge. All right, so before we get started with that one, guys, I'll just come by and check everyone's harnesses here, okay? So facing out towards that water there, I'll just come by behind you guys. All right, there we go. Bending down, and then just slowly start to push back into that harness. Am I supposed to feel it, like, It is slowly start to, starting to catch, yeah? And then just push back into it, you'll feel it. I don't know if I can go any further than that. Okay, and then, hands up. Oh, hey, there we go. All right, coming back inside, guys. All right, I'll quickly check those harnesses there for you. All right, guys, so for our next challenge, we're going to be leaning out again, but this time forwards. Pushing that cord out front, making sure that repeat is straight. That's it. And then just start to lower yourselves out onto that cord out front. There we go, Sonia's already out there. Going back inside. All right. We'll get the arms out either side, maybe chucking that cord behind the arm there just so it's out of the way. Right, we'll take a look up, close our eyes, 10 steps towards me. Okay, I'll count them out for you guys. Ready, set, go. And one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten. Nice one, guys. All right, Sonia, you got it. Yeah, chucking that. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, arms out. You're all lined up. You're all good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Right, so you're starting to skew off a little bit, but all right, guys, we're all done. How was it? All good. <laughs> Just arrived in Pai Hay. I've been told that Pai Hay means good hay, and that's when the first settlers arrived in the island. Pai means good, hay, good hay, Pai Hay. And I'm now on the ferry over to a little island called Russell. Very trip and it is so quaint. It's gosh, I'm slowing down a bit. I tell you what, this view better be worth it. 
It's so hot. And it's just going up and up and up. Wow. So I've made it to the top. It was tough going, but the views are so worth it. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you. So I'm heading back down now and there was a really nice little colonial pub down where I got off the ferry. I'm going to go and treat myself to an ice cold glass of wine. So we've made it right to the very top of New Zealand and the views are stunning. This is where the Tasman Sea and the Pacific meet. Unfortunately it's a very grey wet day. There's the sand dunes and I've decided to walk up here rather than down there with everybody else. Trust me to do it the difficult way. Wow, is it windy? Hopefully you can still hear me. And I'm going to go down to the lighthouse which is on there. Here we are at the furthest point north in New Zealand. <laughs> and the wind is blowing but all is good. Hope you can hear me because that wind is blowing really. There's a lighthouse and they've got a signpost there that tells you how far away everybody is. Mile Beach is a bit windy and we are on that bus. I don't know whether you can see it because the waves are so big but out there there's a rock and it's called the rock with a hole in it but you can't really see the hole in it because the seas are rough. There we go. 